Hi everybody, this is Dan Millen with Live and I Motorsports. Thanks for watching our videos. So we got a pretty cool video here for you today. Uh, we're working on a Maverick here, and we're pleased to announce we've got a multi-tune available for the Maverick. This is in beta right now, but it's super cool for anybody who has a two-liter Maverick at the moment. Uh, we're just now starting to launch it and release it, so stay tuned for some updates on this, but I'm gonna explain a little bit what it does. So the multi-tune is exactly that. It's got multi-tunes. The nice thing about it is it's actually switch on the fly for this vehicle. So we're giving you basically four different tunes, all user selectable using the cruise control. So you could, tune one could be, you know, max power. Tune two could be maybe a little bit less power. Three could be a hard shifting one. Four could be like a valet mode. So it's really pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that we've enabled in this, got a lot to cover in this video. Uh, we've also enabled launch control in this. So in the Maverick, it's actually super cool. So you can build, you know, just foot brake in this thing when it's stock or even with our normal conventional tune, it only builds a couple pounds of boost, you know, two, three pounds. With the multi-tune, we can do some things with the launch control that you don't normally see and make boost almost up to 10, 11, 12 pounds if you want. Probably a little bit much for a Maverick and, you know, not knowing the limitations of the drivetrain, not sure you want to be launching like that all the time, but it is available. One more feature, it has the ability to do ethanol switching also on the fly. You do have to do it when the car's off, but you can go from anywhere from 10% uh, ethanol, which is pretty much at everybody's gas stations except for maybe Alaska. Um, everybody's got E10 everywhere we go, so it starts out at E10, and we can go as much as we think about E35 on this truck right now. We'll do some future future testing to see if we can't go to like an E40, E44, but for this video, we're going to stick to E30, E35. So anyway, I'm going to show you how the, the multi-tune works. It's really pretty simple. Uh, it's all done with the cruise control. I'm going to start with the vehicle off, but super cool. You just press the on button first, then you press the cancel button. And that right there will give you your tune selections, right? So you see right now it sits at number one, that's for tune one. You hit it up, that goes to tune two. You hit it up again, goes to tune three. And one more, goes to tune four. Really simple, you just hit then go back down and you hit X to get out of it. And now it puts you into ethanol select mode. Again, also user adjustable from the cruise control. You notice right now it's sitting on E10. Um, we can adjust this from E10 all the way up, right there, E35. Once you do that, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel, I'm gonna go put it back down to E10, and there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up with the truck. I do wanna show you this launch control real quick. Um, it is something that I think a lot of people will appreciate, especially with some of the EcoBoost stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna show the video that's gonna show our tuner. We actually added boost to our tuner, so it's pretty cool. So if we just go ahead and put this thing in drive and I'll shut traction control off, even though we're not going anywhere at the moment. If we brake torque this thing stock, you'll see it only builds two, maybe three pounds right there, three and a half. Okay, now if I go ahead and hit the on button for the cruise control, that's gonna put us in launch control mode, right? So holding the cruise on will always enable launch control, no matter what you're doing. Doesn't matter if you're driving the freeway, whatever, Hitting, holding that on button down in your cruise will put you in launch control. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this down real quick. I'm gonna show you the difference, how much boost it'll make with launch control on. It's settling about 10, 11 pounds right there. Probably a little much for this thing, but just wanted to show you what it what it does. I'm gonna do one more real quick test. I'm gonna go ahead and brake torque at stock, not hitting the launch control. You'll see it's at three. I'm gonna hold down launch control now. Right there it goes to 10, 11 pounds. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, stay tuned for some more videos on this Maverick here. I'm going to show this thing launching at some point. We're still working on it, but if people want to go ahead and order it, there should be a link on our website uh, very shortly or call in. And uh, thanks for watching our videos.